Hey, how you doing? This is Gary Bledsoe, and I'm coming to you from my home office in San Antonio, Texas. And I want to tell you one of the things that can be one, a very deadly enemy uh, of, against you as you're trying to grow your home business or as you're trying to grow your personal positive development or as you're trying to do something and trying to accomplish a goal or a, a mission. I'm going to tell you what's a very deadly enemy that can definitely hurt you. So stay tuned for that. That enemy that can do great harm to you as you're trying to grow your home business, get some success and achieving a goal or a dream that you want, that deadly enemy that can hurt you is called conformity. You know, I remember some time ago listening to Earl Nightingale. Actually, I've listened to that, this one recording over and I mean hundreds of times. And it was called The Greatest Secret in the World. And one of the, the something like that, Greatest Secret. But one of the things that he said that makes people not become successful or re reason why people don't achieve wealth is because of conformity. Conformity. They choose to conform with the things that they shouldn't do and then choose not to conform. They fight against the things that they should do. And let me give you an example of what I mean. Every day when I take my kids to school in the morning and I drive them to school and I'm looking, uh, you know, in the different lanes, a lane on the right of me and a lane on the, on the uh, uh, sorry, on the right of me and a lane on the left of me as I'm driving. And I watch these people. Now, it's early in the morning. Sometimes, it, it depends on where you are, it's, it's dark outside still when, you, when I'm driving my kids to school. And, and I look at the kid people that have the brand new cars, you know, uh, the middle class type of cars, the Toyotas, the Hondas, the, uh, you know, a, a Chrysler. Uh, these Chevys, and I look at them, they're brand spanking new, maybe the 2014 model, the 2015 model, the 2013 model, the 12 model, 2012 model, the newest brand model that they just probably just recently purchased. And I look at them, and I'm looking at their faces, and I'm watching them as they have that serious, I got to get to work right away look. And I look at me, and I say to myself, do I really want to be like them to look like I'm successful? Do I want to be like them to look like I, I'm achieving something in life? I guarantee that each and every one of those people in those cars are praying with everything in their mind, all their might, that they wish they could be at home. I wish, it, you know, like he, you know, you, you think about this. If a businessman would say at, at his, at his uh, a grave or his, his deathbed, what would you think a businessman would say? I wish I spent more time with my kids than I wish I spent more time at the office. And that's what happens. When you conform to do what everybody else is doing, you're spending more time at the office. You're spending more time building someone else's wealth because you think that that's the way it's supposed to be. That's conformity. You think that that's the great lifestyle. To go to school, get good grades, graduate, and then go and work for a company and work for that company for the rest of your life, never ever achieving anything. See, there is no lawyer out there that will will up a contract to give your job to your children. So why are you spending all of your time building someone else's wealth. If you have to work to build your, to, to get your goal and dream, if you have to go to a job to, to, to uh, achieve a goal or, or achieve some, some time, you know, while you're building your part-time business, things like that, know the end game. Know that it's not to conform to be like those people that are there. You're doing it so that you can achieve a goal eventually to fire that job. Uh, you know, recently my wife and I, we, you know, we had a, a, ch a chance. We were looking out our balcony, uh, a patio balcony window, and we were just looking outside. And we watched a lady come in, uh, and the lady was bringing a whole bunch of different bags of shopping as she went, things like that. And I, you know, immediately my wife looked and said, you know, sometimes it just when you see that, it just makes you want to just go back to a job. And, and do what they do. And I said, no, it doesn't. I said, that's the that's the, exactly what Earl Nightingale meant. Conformity. Do I how many times have we watched this lady go out and early in the morning and it come late at night and have her kids have to go through, become latchkey kids and open up the key and hopefully nobody follows them and push them in the house, things like that. How many times have we seen that? I said, why, why, we, why do we think because she's walking in the house with a whole bunch of uh, shopping bags that that's the ideal of success? That's the conformity. See, that's what everybody does. They get up in the morning and they rush out the house. They put their makeup on. They, put this, they take a shower. They do whatever they have to do to go build someone else's wealth. I'm going to tell you right now, if you truly want to build your wealth, you have to learn how to fight that enemy of conformity. 
you got to fight it. You can't run from it. You can't avoid it. You have to, you have to say, I am not going to be like you. I am not going to do what everybody else does. Be the bird that when you see a flock of birds flying in the air, be the bird that go off to the side. Because I'm going to tell you right now, whenever something's going to hurt, if you, if you think about, I'm going to give you a quick example. If you think about fish, if you think about little fish, they always uh, swim in schools. They swim all together. Guess what happens? The shark, the whales, whoever's going to hunt them, the killer whales, whatever, they're going to go for the biggest school. They're going to go for the school because their chances of grabbing more fish are bigger. But if you're that fish that's swimming off the side, or you're that bird that's swimming off the side and letting all the other birds go that way, guess what? You're, you're a less target. You're a less target than you are if you conform to do what everybody else has done. That's why only 97, that's why 3% of the world population controls wealth. Because they decided not to be, not to be the 97% who are out there, who are the biggest target of being broke, of being desperate, of being stressed out, of being angry, of spending more time at the office than spending with their family and their friends. So do not conform to what everybody else does. It's so easy to get sucked in to want to conform to what everybody else is doing, but it's not a good look. It's not a good goal. It's not good for you. It's not good for your family. Think about when you're on your deathbed and you're about to meet your maker and you're about to leave this world, this earth here. What would you want to say to yourself? How have you lived your life? Have you impacted others? Have you lived your goals and dreams or are your goals and dreams going to the grave? Where, because you never acted upon it, because you decided to conform and build someone else's business. If this is bringing you value, please feel free to share it. Please feel free to leave a comment. I love your feedback. And if you're looking to get more videos similar to this, please fill out your information. Uh, uh, go to whoisgarybledsoe.com. And then on the right side, you're going to see some a box where you can fill out your information. And I'll send you four free videos on how you can increase your personal positive development. And I'll also send you a free report on the, the five tools that I use to generate endless leads online for my home business. I hope this helped you. Thank you so much and have a great day.